Hi guys, well continue now our uh, little trip around Patia. Come to the uh, Frost uh, of Siam Centre. Uh, supposed to be some nice ice sculptures here. Uh, just a warning: if you do come here, it's uh, dual pricing. It's uh, 690 with uh, coat rental for uh, foreigners, and uh, only 350 for uh, ties. So for you, that might be a deal breaker. But let's go and see if it's well worth it. For the cap. Okay. Okay, thank you, cop and cap. So now that we've uh, cleared the turnstile, guys, we come into this quite a large area, and uh, there seems to be quite a number of uh, sculptures here. I'm unsure what the material is. It looks like a, a polystyrene cum plaster. Uh, but obviously it's uh, supposed to represent the ice uh, sculptures. But we'll continue to uh, have a walk uh, through this area, find out what there is to video. And uh, I'm not particularly bothered about the heat now because in about another 15 or 20 minutes uh, the temperatures will be uh, sub-zero. So uh, I'm quite looking forward to uh, doing that. As I said before, we're unsure of what the material is that uh, they've actually made these models out of. It's uh, something that I haven't seen before. But uh, to be honest guys, I think when you get it all too white, it's a little bit hard on the eyes. And uh, I, I appreciate they're supposed to uh, represent the eye sculptures, but wouldn't it have been nice to have added a little bit of colour in there? Especially for the younger... Uh, generation accompanying their families they like to see color they don't want it all white so uh, it might be uh, a point that the uh, frost cyan patia might pick up on for uh, future uh, renovations across the wall there you can just see a little bit of color that's uh, another uh, tourist attraction called uh, great and grand and uh, has a lot of uh, stuff there to do with ice cream. Uh, I have seen it on uh, YouTube. I've seen a couple of videos and uh, there didn't seem to be an awful lot there to video. So today I've given it uh, a buy. Oh, well, at least we have a little bit of colour here. Uh, not too much, but it's uh, certainly better than nothing. So with that guys, having a little walk around there, not an awful lot to see. Uh, let's get inside the building here and uh, start to chill out a little bit. I have no idea how big the sculptures are inside. Uh, I've seen a few clips on uh, YouTube, but uh, to be honest, it didn't really give me a, a great idea of what's available. I do know that I have to re redeem my ticket and get a, a warm coat and uh, some warm boots. Quite a nice little seating area and waiting place. Uh, as you can see, people have already got some of their warm coats already on and the warm boots. And uh, I think they have a time that they let so many people into the uh, display areas. Nice little uh, area for taking selfies or pictures or whatever you choose to do. And uh, at the back here you can get uh, warm drinks and uh, uh, some snacks. Uh, 
and here we have the main uh, sign signage for Frost. So I've got all my uh, coat on and uh, warm boots and now is uh, the voyage of discovery and see what's available to video uh, within this complex and uh, straight away uh, I can feel the cool water relief from the outside temperatures today it's been absolutely baking outside first impressions uh, not particularly large area but uh, quite colorful I think uh, you can appreciate that the lights on the ice uh, add something to the displays Obviously, the uh, younger generation loves stuff like this. They like to uh, go out into cold places and play with ice and see colours and uh, touch things. So uh, for the younger generation, it's probably more uh, interesting than it is for adults. Just here, this is uh, an ice bar where you can redeem part of your ticket for a cold drink, uh, which they uh, prepare in uh, an ice made cup don't think there'd be any need for having that one today to be quite honest just really happy that it's cool in here the lights certainly do add to uh, the uh, ice sculptures uh, but I'll leave it to yourself to make up your mind if it's uh, really worth the 690 baht to uh, get inside here. I believe that uh, further on down the uh, this display area there is a couple of ice slides for the uh, younger generations to uh, try out but for us guys certainly won't be uh, sliding on any, any ice today have a problem standing on the feet as it is Ice cone shaped uh, topped building there, quite uh, unusual. Everybody can go inside these uh, some of the uh, taller structures and uh, take their pictures and uh, selfies, etc., and then uh, work their way up uh, to this slide here in the corner. This is uh, Santa's uh, reindeer and his sled. So this just gives you a quick view inside. A couple of the uh, visitors have actually taken the trouble to climb inside and have a sit down. And uh, the igloo here is uh, quite well made actually, uh, quite surprised how uh, intricate it's been uh, put together. We won't be bothered to ride on Santa's sled today, we'll uh, be quite happy just taking uh, uh, a few uh, video shots of it. If you're uh, thinking of uh, coming down to visit uh, Frost Siam Patia, it might uh, be worth your while considering uh, what the ice sculptures would be like without the uh, lighting effects and then uh, deciding yourself if it's uh, 
worth uh, the trouble to come down here. Sculptures there, bears and snowmen, etc., and a few children there going up to uh, try the slides out. Uh, father in uh, control of the GoPro to get some decent video of them. But this is what it's all about, guys, isn't it? Coming out, finding something different if you're away for the weekend, and uh, finding something interesting for the kids that they're. Uh, going to participate and enjoy it. Kids really seem to be enjoying themselves on there. Probably got very wet bottoms now. And this is the uh, final room right at the uh, far end. Uh, again you can uh, take more uh, pictures in here. So another nicely made uh, igloo there and uh, a couple of uh, snowmen Oh and another little uh, slide area up in the corner there uh, where they can come down a, a kind of a small hill on a, on a rubber tube Again something for the kids not really for the adults So that's all about the uh, that's all about uh, there is to see here. To be honest, guys, uh, I was anticipating a lot more, but you know it is what it is, and uh, the only way to find out uh, what's on offer is to come down, buy a ticket, and uh, have a look for yourself. So with that we'll go back into the uh, main room area and uh, see if we can find uh, a way out, uh, probably drop off my coat and uh, boots and then uh, probably make my way for a, a warm coffee before uh, jumping back in the car and finding somewhere else to go. So we'll leave you with these uh, last views before we uh, leave the exhibition. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. Uh, to be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed, but it is what it is. There is uh, quite a good rotation of different coloured lights so you'll see the display in one colour and uh, two seconds later the same display uh, is portrayed in a different colour. So I suppose it adds to the ambience of the whole exhibition area. And to be honest I think I'll give the uh, ice drink a miss. 
and uh, go and uh, drop the coat off and the boots and uh, go and have a coffee. So with that guys, a very very refreshing change to go out in there in the cold and see some of the uh, ice sculptures, really really uh, happy to have seen them. Whether or not it was worth the 790 baht, debatable. With that we'll go around uh, and uh, continue our journeys around Patia and uh, see what else we can find. Don't forget to like, subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one guys, bye bye. Only thing I can see is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger Step by step The clock is ticking But there's no time for regrets